All right, man, y'all going to have to bear with me. I'm going to be a little bit all over the place. This is one of the subject matters that really gets me going. You know, a mass shooting happens, and then you get all these individuals. But It's crazy we're at a point to where people are trying to find the the race, the political affiliation, as well as, uh, you know, the reasoning, I guess, before they determine that they are outraged or whether they're going to be outraged or not at something. I think this is why the recent El Paso shooting was highlighted. And then you have with that garlic festival, that guy by Rennie and the center was a Walmart um, shooting in Mississippi with a black guy shot a couple of coworkers and whatnot. So you have situations like that that pop off and it gets buried. But as soon as they can find, oh, well, this is the narrative that we wanted to paint. Now we're going to be as mad as we can and we're going to be as loud as you can and get all these people bawling their eyes out on Twitter. Do something. We have to do all of this just crazy shit. Now, let me be clear. <clears throat> Y'all know what my position is. I hope. All gun laws, <clears throat> status gun laws, that is, are infringements. I'm not even one to have to like appeal to, which is what a lot of people do is appeal to the Constitution. And I don't even care about that shit. This is a property rights issue. What What's in that document that I didn't sign is utterly irrelevant. Uh, this is a property rights issue and the state basically determining who and who cannot own guns and the, or more so the, the avenues that they must take in order to rightfully own one without having these sorts of acts of aggression put upon them by way of the state. All is it is non-negotiable. It's freaking non-negotiable. It's funny because all these these uh sort of leftists appeal to like the NRA and you get guys like myself. I think they're milk toast. They do a whole lot of uh they, I mean they ain't radical enough. They do all of this compromising all the time. Hell, a lot of the gun laws that you see are because of the N NRA. And I just want to be clear so you guys understand where I'm coming from under any no amounts of uh. You know, people that you're talking about dying or anything like that is going to change my position on that. Um, I do believe when you consider how big and bloated the government, certainly American government is, I think the one thing that keeps it from going completely tyrannical, though it's itching, edging uh, sort of that way, is uh, is the fact that people can own, own guns. And that's just where I'm at with it. Now, with that being said, the weird thing about this whole entire conversation is that when some shit happens, it's kind of fucked up like this, right? People are always itching to somebody to do something, right? Half the time, the shit, people do it doing the shit, they went through illegal measures already, right? So what they did was already um, illegal, not just to murder itself, obviously, but I'm talking about in sort of ways they obtained their weaponry, certainly in mass shootings and throughout history. Uh, in a lot of cases, they were already outlawed. The gun they used was outlawed. The way they obtained it was outlawed already. So the gun laws that were that were in place didn't stop this from happening. And that generally means, and this is why a lot of people say this, that criminals don't give a shit about more gun laws, right? They don't. That's not going to stop. Certainly, them if they want to do that. That's what makes them a criminal in that in that sense, right? So people are looking to whatever, you know, some mass shooting takes place and everybody's like, do something, do something, do something uh, to the president, to whoever. And what if I told you that there's other things that may be wrong <clears throat> that absolutely have nothing to do with the state? If anything, maybe the state has exacerbated the problem. And we can make that argument. But what I'm saying more so is that there's cultural issues that can be addressed that need to be addressed that often go completely uh, ignored because everybody's so worried about passing some stupid new law or banning guns all outright, um, which does not help the situation by any means just pisses a lot of people off. But I've talked about this, for example, among let's say black culture and the fact that, you know, in a lot of predominantly black neighborhoods um, you see, higher violent crime rates and stuff like that. And I always talk about how there's a cultural issue there when you have individuals that don't know how to resolve conflict, right? And that's the psyche that I believe needs to get tapped into that goes completely unignored. And that is, okay, why is it that people act the way that they act in the sense that 
what can drive somebody so crazy to where they want to do some shit like kill a bunch of innocent people, right? And there's so many different elements that you can go that have absolutely nothing to do with how they obtain the gun or anything like that. That's completely irrelevant. We live in this sort of society. We live in a society, believe it, I'm saying that. But uh, this is sort of a culture where people do a bunch of uh, shit talking to a lot of un unstable people. If that makes any sense. And I believe a lot of people are, are un un unstable in a sense. And I'm not saying you should hold your tongue based on, on, on what I'm saying is, is that if you can go on Twitter and social media and all of that shit, Instagram, certainly among individuals, what, 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 what do you see? It's a bunch of motherfuckers bullying each other. By literal definition, that's all it is. And some people are, you know, they're going to counter with the same sort of tactic. And some individuals are are going to go about it that way, but that's all it is. We we, we praise and worship this. <laughs> well, people are talking shit to each other all the goddamn time, and they can't even keep their fucking psyche together without just going complete ape shit. God forbid somebody's on a different political affiliation and says something they don't like. These people are unstable, blue check marks and all, right? So my thing is like, dude, that's all from TV on to the social media. That's all people have been worshiping is 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 more so conflict in the sense that, OK, I'm going to say bad, negative things on your TV shows and everything. I'm going to say the most uh, bad and negative things to people that I don't like. And I'm going to post it. I'm going to tell everybody about the shit. Right. I'm going to retweet it. I'm going to get all these likes and shit like that. That's where we're at. And I'm not saying even I'm not guilty of doing this shit sometimes. And I'm not saying that's the absolute result of all shootings. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that's one element that needs to be taken into consideration. And, and so with that being said, some shit just can't be prevented in that sense. Some people are nutty and it's unfortunate. But no amount of politicians crying oh, on, oh, we have to do something. Oh, the rhetoric that somebody's using and all these the same motherfuckers for the, isn't this crazy? The same people who last week would say some shit about police brutality and all of the state uh, uh, agents doing all of this crazy shit now in turn will tell you that we should be trusting them with the guns or trusting them to confiscate guns, trusting them to um, enforce gun laws. The same people that say, say beating up on people. Like, come on, bro. It makes no sense. And then you get people appealing to other countries and all of that. Like, completely different. I don't think people understand how fucking big America is. And not even just that, how different each state and city and county is. It's, it's, it's embarrassing when people bring that shit up. Well, let's look at this place with 20 million people. Even less than that, if they want to go to some of the Scandinavian spots. Oh, they're, they're doing just fine with guns ban. Motherfucker, America has 300 plus million people within it. Australia is in a, that's a fraction of that. Canada is a fraction of that. And within it, there's so many different gun laws and gun sort of uh, just, it just approaches in general. When you go state to state, even county to county, man. California does not have the same gun laws as Texas. It's not as, they're not as uh, free there. And then you got places that have these high, high uh, homicide and, 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 and shooting rates. Like, you know, what shit that takes place in Chicago. They have pretty strict gun laws there. Hell, it wasn't like a week. I mean, it was like 70 Yo. plus people... Shot there in a week that nobody said anything about for the most part, because again they couldn't play the they couldn't um, play that card. But there's so many different things to be taken into consideration. But it goes out the window 
And we do this shit when some unfortunate event happens and instead of being like, damn, this is pretty fucked up shit. First thing people are looking to is the race just so they can paint their fucking narrative that they want to paint. It happens to the left. I mean, people on the other side do it too. But I will say that all gun laws are infringements. I think this is a very important thing. I think gun ownership is very, very important. I would say when you see shit like this, it's more important than ever. It's more important than ever. People understand the importance of gun ownership and why I think that, you know, concealed carry is is awesome. Hell, open carry, but, you know, concealed carry is awesome. Because I always think about a situation is why you don't you don't hear about places when you, when you see places where gun like like let's say some uh, people don't go up shooting up gun stores for for the most part or anything like that. You know what I mean? There's some rally in which people are advocates of gun ownership. Those aren't the ones that get shot up. It's the gun-free zones and stuff like that where people aren't allowed. And I'm always thinking like, okay, if it was just one, you know, not to say that maybe he would have stopped them or she would have stopped them, but you have at least a fighting chance when somebody goes crazy. If somebody's around and it's like, you know, I have a gun. I can do something. I'm going to give it a shot. I think it's a very, very important thing, not just in keeping the state at bay, but the idea that I'm supposed to state, I'm supposed to trust the state to enforce more gun laws is just insane to me. It's it's too hard. I would argue it's it's way too hard to get a gun even now. People think it's easy. No, it's not. And the, and most people that say it's like easy to rightfully more so own a gun and by rightfully I mean the fact that you won't get in trouble if the state's agents know that you have it that shit isn't easy you have to jump through a lot of fucking hoops to do that people that use their own guns are, are the ones saying that shit they talk about myths and you know what they say the gun show loophole like you know just making shit up right that's what they do but all gun laws are infringements. I want to be very, very clear on that. This is non-negotiable. And no amount of people getting shot is going to change that. Now, we can go and we can have legitimate conversations about what's taking place in which people are going crazy like that. But when you get to throwing these statistics and looking at, like, uh, consider for one how different cultures are in America. The, I mean, the overall culture in America at that. And also how big it fucking is when you compare it to these other fucking countries. It's completely illogical to be comparing 300 plus million people where, where you have states that have, you know, very vastly different different gun laws and, and just culture around, uh, around guns and then try to appeal to that. Like, that's so idiotic. It doesn't make any sense. But... What happens usually is that you're able to see who in the fuck, well, more so what people's agendas are, depending on what, or more so like the race and the reasoning and all of that shit of the person that is shooting somebody. Then they are like, oh, that's going to determine their outrage. This is why people can get shot up. All these brothers can be shooting at each other in Chicago throughout the week and nobody's saying shit. Because there's no narrative to paint there. And then you sadly expect it. But you can get some guy that's white, pin it on racism, pin it on the president. Oh, we got a story now. And that doesn't solve shit. It doesn't solve the problem. It, it, it just, you know, gets motherfuckers like me making these videos. Great because you guys are basically threatening the freedom of others because for the sake of protection. Again, it's the same people that... We're talking about the same state agents that would have to enforce these gun laws. The same state agents are beating people up. Why the fuck would we trust them to do anything? It's maddening, man. Every time, every fucking time, yo, every time. Here we go again with this gun control bullshit. Every single time. We got to do something. Half the time, they don't even know what the fuck to do. It's, just, it's, a, it's a more so an ego thing, right? Narcissism. I want to feel good. I want to I feel like I'm doing something. I'm helping. I'm helping like that fucking Simpson meme is what it looks like. Because 
generally what they propose doesn't help shit. It doesn't help anything. Golly, it's fucking maddening, but it's just non-negotiable. You can call me all kinds of names under no circumstance, and you can give me all the all the what ups in the world. Under no circumstance should the state be facilitating of all people, groups of people should be facilitating who can and can't buy guns. You want to leave it to private organizations, fine. If you want to push for, um, you know, some some stores having some sort of uh, system privately that they go about before they determine who they can and cannot sell to or who they will and will not sell to more. So that's a completely different thing. I would argue that private arbitration in that regards is, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a no brainer. But certainly when it comes to the state doing the shit, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And it's not up for, it's not up for negotiation of this a dispute. It's not. <laughs> Y'all can appeal to the, Oh, what about this crazy person and doing? No, it doesn't matter. The state shouldn't be determining who can and cannot own guns. It's not up for dispute. It's, it's, this is non-negotiable. Non-negotiable, and I'm pretty sure these milk toast NRA chumps are probably working on new legislation right now. Bitches.